Ned Jerry. From Papyrus, this is NASCAR Racing. And once upon a time, in the early 90s, there was a young boy. Let's call him Ted. He was quite stupid, but let's not go into that. He wanted to play NASCAR Racing by Papyrus, uh, the most advanced racing sim when it came out in 1994. The game had very very good physics engine and also a super VGA graphics that made the game look absolutely gorgeous. Except that it didn't, because no computer in 1994 would run it in SVGA mode, at least with any details on. Also racing wheels were very rare in 1994, so we didn't exactly get to properly enjoy the physics engine. So, the end result was that we were playing a game that looked pretty much like this. With a keyboard or a joystick. So Ted decided to travel in time all the way to year 2020, where humankind has invented a computer that is able to run NASCAR racing in Super VGA. And also there is a thing called a racing wheel. So, NASCAR Racing, I am now going to play you with Super VGA, all graphics to max, and my computer is going to run you like you're nothing. Also, you shall get steered with a racing wheel. And here we are, in the menu of NASCAR Racing, in Super VGA! And we're going to do a championship season in NASCAR racing, but we're not going to start it yet. Uh, this is going to be just a fun race, just a single race. Check it out uh, if you want to try it yourself with a racing wheel or even with a stick sifter. There's a little tutorial uh, at the end of this video where you can check out how to get it to work. It's, it's really quite straightforward, to be honest. Uh, when it comes to the season, we're not going to do a hardcore season. We've got plenty of those going on on the channel. Uh, just a relaxed season with, with like the standard tracks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tracks on the stock game, the, the original game that came out in 1994. So uh, I don't have any track packs or anything. We'll do, a, we'll do a season with this. Short races, like 10% or something. Uh, no more hardcoreness. And because uh, this NASCAR racing thing does not fit into the career of Friedrich Bang, a very realistic, very serious career, hardcore and, and everything, we're not going to drive with Friedrich Bang. Instead, we're going to drive with his American cousin, Bob Bang. Don't worry, Bob is great. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's just do a short little race at Atlanta. Uh, I did a couple of practice sessions here. Uh, I have the AI set to 100%. And let's load a setup, qualifying setup. We're just going to use the stock setups for this one. So I'm not going to take it super seriously like our other super serious uh, seasons we're having here on the channel and it's very loud Mass cars are very loud In case you didn't know So yeah, let's do the qualifying uh, The qualifying pace Is not that great If we can get to like top 20 that would be an unbelievably brilliant result oh dear I kind of kind of forgot to slow down for the corner that is a thing in, in NASCAR here we go green flag Uh, first corner, not not too great. Uh, second turn might be a bit better. We'll get a good exit here. Kind of late apexing it. And P17. So yeah, 
As I said, top 20 and I will be super happy. And we're at top 20, uh, 20 so I'm super happy. So yeah, let's go to the pits for immersion and realism and all that good stuff. This this game, honestly, it's, it's great to drive with a racing wheel. Uh, completely different. Oops. Uh, we missed the pits, everybody. We'll stop here. Goodbye. Uh, so much for realism and immersion. Uh, next session. Yeah, I just tried, uh, tr uh, decided to try the game out. Like I've, the last time I played this was in the early '90s, so something like 20 years, uh, 25 years ago. Let's take the ace setup, uh, and I, I never, I, uh, during that time period, I didn't have a racing wheel. No one had racing wheels, and also my computer couldn't run the game properly with these un unbelievable super VGA graphics. So, like, now that I, I tried it, I was very, very surprised how, how, how great it is. Like, I'm, I was expecting something similar to, like, uh, IndyCar racing, but slightly better. But it's actually a lot better. And it's very loud, once again, with all the other cars. Uh, yeah, the AI is... is I, I feel it's a lot better, and also... Of course, these cars are not as fast as Indy cars, so there's a bit more time to react to things, and also it doesn't matter if you if you hit someone a little bit, because these are of course stock cars, not open wheelers. So it's 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 quite a lot of fun. If if you are a fan of the Pyrus NASCAR series, you should give this one a try. It's, it's a nice, nice, not nostalgic, uh, not so nostalgic. <laughs> I can speak. Uh, nostalgic, uh, not nostalgic trip, but for God's sake. Okay, let's just concentrate on driving now. Waiting for the green flag. Nostalgia. There we go. I can speak. Green flag. Here we go. Have to be very careful. Tires are cold. And by the way, we have way too much fuel on board for this 10% race. Oh dear, very, very loose. We have way too much fuel, I, I, I forgot to take some off. But, never mind, this is this is just a fun race. And the main goal is just to survive and finish the race. People going three wide. See if we can make some moves. Tire wear, of course, is a very, very big thing here. You have to be very, very smooth. Very easy to overdrive and, and ruin your tires. Overheat them and... Then you will really, really suffer at the end of the race. Also, hitting walls is something you should kind of avoid. Pro racing tips from Ted Mead. They are very, very careful with the tires. It will pay off in the end. hear any squealing from the tires if I can help it. Oh, 
All right, P16. A little tap there. That's all right. You can do stuff like that with these cars. This is not in the car. Yeah, and as I said, no hardcore season in this one, okay. Interesting, we, we kind of made a move there. It's like an accidental move. But it was a move. Yeah, the races in this are very long. I think, you know, this is 30 laps or something, this race. So a full race here would be more than 300 laps. So that's that's kind of kind of long. 26 laps to go. Okay, we got fast around the outside. A little hit there. Managed to save it, but it's it's a caution. That, hey, wait a minute, it's, it's, it's a caution. Why are you guys overtaking me? Uh, okay, apparently we're still, like, racing. Bit closed. Now, why did, like, there was a yellow flag. Why did you overtake me? Stay behind 54. That's bullcrap. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's some sort of glitch. But we lost like three positions there. Apparently you're supposed to race until like... You catch the pace car. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, Bob Bang probably caused an accident there, but... That's alright. We will forgive him. And since, since it's like nothing uh, nothing else happening here except for driving in, in line, I will cut here and uh, we will see you once it goes green. So see you in a bit. And we're back. We're at the back straight away and we're going green after this lap. So. So that is what is going to happen. We'll see how how this goes. We are, I think, we're at P18 at the moment. Uh, we had a little crash, and uh, but I, I, I think I've been saving few uh, the tires pretty well here. Very easy on the tires, so hopefully we can have a little advantage here. Here's the restart inside lane is kind of blocked the best uh, the best lane so tires once again very very cold car is getting very loose lost some well didn't lose any positions but lost some time against the AI drivers. I don't know if they suffer from cold tires the same way I do. There's a huge crash! Crash in front! And another caution. Oh dear. Well, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, you're supposed to race, like, flat out. Almost forgot. AI is allowed to overtake you if you're not careful at this stage. A bit closed. It's alright, we don't need to go there. And where's the pace car? Oh dear, sorry, sorry everyone. We're fine. 
All right, so another caution. Uh, I'm going to spare you from this once again, so I will cut here. See you in a while. And here we are once again, going green after this lap. Getting ready for the green flag. Hopefully we can go the rest of the uh, rest of the race without any any cautions because yeah, this is this is a bit boring. I want to race. I want to go fast. Here we go, green flag. Once again, have to be very careful with the tires. They are. to go. Let's see if we can make some moves here. I've been very easy on the tires as I said, so we might have some advantage compared to the AI. Okay. The guy in front just pretty much lost it. have a run here. We do indeed. Easy. Careful. Oops. Sorry. Sorry again. And another caution. <laughs> oh man, it seems that Bob Bang is a very very naughty NASCAR driver. Uh, an another accident caused by Bob Bang. And another caution once again. So, yeah. Interesting. Wow! Easy, boys. Okay, this is... Uh, this is a little bit messy now. I, I, I wonder if we have some damage on the car after that. But they just stopped really, really suddenly there and, and I, I just couldn't break early enough. So sorry about your bumper, uh, Mr. Maggio. So, I guess we will see you once again when it goes green. Alright, and once again, one lap until the green. And I, I do think that before we start our season in NASCAR racing, Bob Bang should uh, clean up his driving a little bit. Uh, although this strategy is working pretty well, because we are currently at lead 13, so we've made up a lot of places. We'll see, hopefully, hopefully no more incidents. Let's try to be, be a little bit more cautious. Unfortunately, not a lot of racing here today. A lot of driving under yellows. Alright, and the pace car is coming in, and it's green flag! And let's once again careful here. Okay, someone... Whoa, whoa, whoa! We lost a lot of positions there. 
everyone was very fast. Okay, easy. What the hell's happening? I don't have, suddenly I don't have any pace. Uh, I wonder if I have some damage to the car that's ruining the, the aerodynamics. Because, oops, that was a bit risky. We're gonna pull down, go. Okay, let's let's be careful here. Let, let's uh, let's not overdrive. Stay on the inside lane. We got absolutely destroyed at the restart there. We're now now at 19, so lost six positions. And there's not a lot of race left. Six laps left. Okay, that was a bit of a dive, but we made it work. damage to the car so we don't quite have the straight line speed we used to. Okay, round the outside then. I don't know why he just suddenly slowed down. P16. the position. Bob Bang is making moves. Oops. Oops. Bob Bang is making very bad things. So it's just a little, little, little crash here. We're fine, everybody. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... Oh dear. B23. Somehow uh, we survived. <laughs> oh dear. A very, very reckless driving by Bob a Bang. That's unfortunate. Another caution. I think this race is going to end under caution, so that's a bit of a bummer. Way too aggressive there. Yeah, white flag! That sucks. Well, this was uh, kind of a messy race, for sure. We somehow survived. Uh, it's kind of sucks to end under yellow. 
but boop boop dee doo. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, there's a little tutorial at the end of the video how, how you can make a make this game work with a racing wheel and a stick sifter. Obviously, no no age pattern sifting. The game does not support it, but it just brings a little bit more immersion, even though you have to use. Uh, sequential sifting and of course no clutch in the game very simple controls but they work very well it's, it's very nice to drive and here we go we're finishing the race under caution race over P20 Three. Congratulations, Bob Bang. Over and out. And as promised, here's a little tutorial on how to get this game running with a modern PC and a racing wheel. Uh, there's a link in the video description to my blog where there is a more in-depth tutorial on how to do this. Go and click that. I'm just going to go very briefly through the steps that are needed to get this thing working. First of all, of course, you need NASCAR Racing, the game, uh, and you need the CD-ROM version of the game if you want to play it in Super VGA, and you do because the plain VGA looks absolutely horrible. Uh, once again, there's a link in the video description to my blog where you can find the game as well. Uh, you should then download and configure DOSBox uh, I myself use DOSBox ECE because it seems to work better with a wheel, but you can also use the conventional DOSBox. After installing DOSBox, open the DOSBox config file. Also, you can find the location in my blog if you don't know where it is. Find the joystick settings and here is how mine is set up, so check that out. Should work alright. But if the calibration is very jittery, you might want to uh, change the timed value to false. Then you should configure your racing wheel settings. Uh, open the control panel of your wheel and make, make sure your pedal axes are combined. And auto center settings come from the wheel instead of the game. Uh, set wheel lock to something like 360 degrees. I myself have a Trustmaster wheel, and here's how my settings look like. And you can also use a stick sifter with the game. This is of course optional, uh, and you can't have age patterns or clutches or anything like that. The game does not support it, but you can use your stick sifter as a sequential semi-automatic sifter. It brings a little bit of extra immersion to the game, in my opinion. For this you have to open DOSBox Mapper by starting DOSBox and pressing Ctrl F1. Then from the Mapper try to find out which joystick buttons are, you, are the flappy paddle sifters of your wheel for sifting up and down. Then choose the one for sifting up and click Add to find another button and move your stick sifter into the direction you want it to sift up. Then do the same thing for sifting down then click save and exit the mapper. Then you just uh, start NASCAR racing. If you are unfamiliar with DOSBox, check out uh, the blog once again. You can find the commands there. Start NASCAR, calibrate your wheel and drive. You should be good to go. If you have any questions, just comment and I will try to answer the question. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.